So today's learning intention is finding the area between two curves. Our National 5 Essential Skills are still simplifying certain indices, working with fractions and integers. But now for our higher essential skills, you have to be really good at integrating, subbing in your limits and evaluating areas. So finding the area between two curves, here's an example for us. So find the area between two curves we evaluate, it's the area equals the integral of the top curve, subtract the bottom curve with respect to x or the variable you've been given. In this example here, we've got the blue curve's the top curve, that's y equals f of x, and the red curve's the bottom curve, it's the function y equals g of x, and our limits are the points of intersection from point A to point B. So we can write that as the area equals the integral from A to B, of f of x minus g of x with respect to x. If you're lucky, you'll be given the limits a and b. If not, how can you calculate them? Well, I said to you, the a and b are the points of intersection of two lines. Now, we've seen that previously in our straight line section of the course. We equate the functions and solve for x. So let's try an example. Example 1, calculate the area between the two lines. So I've got the line y equals x on top, straight line, black line, and I've got y equals x squared is the red line underneath. Here are the limits. So I've got from x is 0 to x is 1. So it says find upper minus lower limits. Now, I can see it on the graph here, but if you don't have a graph or a proper sketch, we're going to equate them. x squared minus x. So I've got x squared minus x equals 0. Factorise x times x minus 1 equals 0. So solving that, x is 0 and x is 1. And we can see that. We can read it off the graph anyway. We then have to integrate top curve minus bottom curve. So we've got the integral from 0 to 1 of x minus x squared. Integrating that, I've got a half x squared minus a third x cubed from x is 0 to x is 1. Sub in your limits and evaluate, and that gives me the answer e that equals a sixth. So e that equals a sixth square units. Example 2, calculate the shaded area. Now I've got two curves here. The top curve is y equals x 6 minus 3x squared. And the bottom curve is y equals minus 3 minus 2x squared. But what are the limits then? So the limits are going to be the points of intersection of these two curves. Now to find that, I'm going to have to equate and solve. So I've got 6 minus 3x squared equals minus 3 minus 2x squared. Okay, bring everything over and it equals 0. Simplify, I get 9 minus x squared equals 0. The difference are two squares, that's 3 plus x, 3 minus x equals 0, so x is minus 3 and x is 3. So it's symmetrical about the origin, about the y-axis. Now I have to find the area. So the area is, first of all we need to prepare, we've got the integral from minus 3 to 3 of the upper curve minus the lower curve. Now, you better just simplify as much as you can before you integrate. Okay, so I've got the integral from minus 3 to 3 of 9 minus x squared dx. Now, I'm going to sub in the limits. Right, sorry, integrate first. I've got integral, integrate 9 to get 9x. Integrate minus x squared to get negative a third x cubed from x is minus 3 to 3. Now, we sub in the limits. Evaluate. And the answer equals 36. So the area equals, shaded area equals 36 square units. Now you take your time to make sure when you're copying this down, you've understood every single step. Now I know it looks like equating and solving looks like the same as preparing, but that's only because when I equated, I equated upper minus lower. So don't get that round the wrong way or you're going to get into trouble. Right, try this past paper example on your own.
It says calculate the shaded area enclosed by the parabolas with the equations y equals 1 plus 10x minus 2x squared and y equals 1 plus 5x minus x squared. Now look at the graphs to make sure you understand which one's the top one, which one's the bottom one. And I've put some tips to help you. So the area equals the integral of the upper curve minus the lower curve. Prepare to integrate fully. You need to find the limits, but you have to find the points of intersection by equating and solving and remember your units. And I've just had the answer in there already. So the answer's already been unveiled as limits equal x equals 0 and x equals 5. But I've not told you the area yet. So pause just now and then come back. Right, six mark past paper question. I want you to try and figure out where your six marks come from. Your teacher will go over this in class. But I got the area to be 125 over 6 square units. Hopefully you did too. Any problems, speak to your teacher. self so assess your progress. For extra practice, try page 180, exercise 9P. So what have we learned today? Well, we've learned how to find the area between two curves. So the area equals the integral of the upper curve minus the lower curve with respect to x. We prepare to integrate fully. Limits are the points of intersection of the two curves. To find them, we have to equate and solve. And always remember to simplify fully your answer into right square units.